Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this Bluetooth OBD2 3210 by Autofix. I want to give the guys at Autofix a big shout out for sending me this new OBD2. So this is it guys, let's open it up and check it out. Now the nice thing I like about this OBD2 that it's very small, it can fit anywhere. You don't have to like carry no big tools around with long cables or anything. As you can see how small it is. And it comes in this nice little plastic box and it has the uh, instruction manual inside. I had did a video on this before but the voice didn't come out because as soon as I turned on the Bluetooth from my phone, the, it cut the voice. So I had to redo the video over again. So this is it, guys. Very nice and small. You can just put this in the glove box and just keep it there in case any uh, check engine light comes on. You'll be able to just use it real quick. So it's pretty nice. Nice uh, rubber feeling. Pretty cool. Auto fix 3210, guys. There we goes. So let's plug this bad boy in. But before we do that, let me just check the uh, little manual here so you guys can check it out. Let's open this up. So you gotta download the app before you start using this, guys. And it has different languages here also. So I'm going to show you the um, name of the app here. I have it already on my other phone because I had to use my other phone. So the name of the app is called OBD Mate that one right there OBD mate okay you just download that from the Android store and it'll come up like that let me see okay it'll come up just like that you see diagnostics dashboard monitor performance test battery you can check your battery and the settings there and then you press over that's all the information from your car and then you press over here where the little wheel is and it gives you that uh, little odometer VSS odometer there so let's go and plug this bad boy in and check it out <clears throat> so what you do is you go to your OBD port down here. Mine's is right around here somewhere. Here we go. It's right here. And you're going to see, I believe it's a green light or blue light when it connects. You see the blue, the light is red now. As you can see. You see my hand is red. The little light is red. So as soon as this connects, I believe it changes to blue or green. So let me um, <clears throat> connect it here on my phone real quick. First of all, let me turn on my car. Okay. So, let's see, I believe that color should turn, turn blue, I believe. Let me see, connect. Okay, let's press connect here. Communicating with vehicle, please wait. <clears throat> so now you see it changed to green. You see the color now? 
down here is green now. So it's already connected to the car. Okay. Press OK. It's checking the IM readiness. It's checking for trouble codes and freeze frame. Okay. So the IM readiness is ready. Trouble codes is none. Freeze frame is none also. Press OK. So now. <clears throat> sorry for moving the camera around, guys. Is that I had to use two phones for this? Okay, so let's go to diagnostics. It's detecting in progress. Okay, so as you, as you can see, no current DTCs. Pending codes is none. Permanent codes is none also. So that means this car is running good. No trouble, nothing. See, and here on the side, you can clear clear the codes and rescan. And also, you can check here the freeze frame data, your data stream, and your also check your diagnose report. So let's go to uh, data stream. <clears throat> See, it tells you the engine RPM, how fast you're going, your speed, if you were driving. Okay. <laughs> So let's go back to freeze frame. There's no freeze frame data because this vehicle has no codes. So let's go to a uh, diagnose report. <clears throat> okay, there's no codes. Everything is good here. As you can see, there's no issues. So let's go back. Let's go to the battery, check the battery. There we go. Battery seems very good. So let's go to voltage reference. Okay. It tells you the voltage before launch, voltage before starting, and okay, let's check this out. Let's go to go. Okay. Let's go to start. Turn off the vehicle, then click OK. So let's turn off the vehicle like it says. Press OK. Oops. Hold on. Hold on, guys. There's something here. My okay, guys. There was something on my screen. I'm back now. Okay, so let's press OK. Okay, detecting the engine voltage is high. Please make sure that the engine was turned off. Okay, it's off. Start engine. So as you can see, it's telling you all the information right there. The time, 1963 M milliseconds that's the time for uh, I believe to turn on and it says engine off the voltage was 13.01 volts minimum voltage is 8.76 max voltage is 14.18 so this seems very good so now let's get out of here and let's go to performance test. But I believe this is like if you're driving. You see? You have to be driving for this. Because my car is parked right now, as you can see. I don't know what my, cla my camera is blurry. Okay, there we go. So, this... Let me accelerate the car so you can see the RPMs go up. You see? Okay, so this would be an acceleration test. So let's go back. And um, let's go to monitor. I am monitor. Okay. Misfire monitoring. 
fuel system monitoring, comprehensive component monitoring, catalyst monitoring, heated catalyst monitoring, evaporative system monitoring, secondary air system monitoring, oxygen sensor monitoring, oxygen sensor heater monitoring ready, exhaust, that's for the EGR, doesn't support that one. It supports pretty much all of them except like one, like two or three of them. That's about it. But it's very good. Because this car is a little older. So if you have a newer vehicle, it'll, you know, most likely it'll support all that stuff. So let's go to where it says oxygen sensor here. O2 sensor. So it's giving you all the information here for your sensors. Bank 1, sensor 2. There you go. TDI number 31. There you go. You scroll down. TID number 83, 84, 85. So let's go to OBMT. See what that's about. Onboard monitoring test. Okay. There we go. And now let's go to what this what is this mode nine? I like that little feature with the car moving. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's ECU calibration ID. So let's get out of here and go to, let's go to dashboard. Okay, so that's, like I said, that's the RPMs of the car. Accelerate it, you'll see it going up. There you go. So let's go back. Let's go to settings. So here you have your units. If you want to put it in English or metric. Uh, you have an alarm here. Speed alarm. Water temperature alarm. Driver fatigue alarm. So. Okay. So let's go to general. Okay, these are all the settings. Language settings. These are all the languages it has. Okay. Automatic detection after start. You can like change all the settings you want here, guys. Automatic screenshot, sleep, menu position. Okay. Let's go back. And I believe that's pretty much it. That, oh, no. Wait a minute. It has a little bit more here. So let's go to trip. As you can see here, this is if you want to uh, record a trip or something. Distant miles. Let's go to transmission. Now, mine doesn't support this. But if, like I say, if you have a newer vehicle... It'll probably show your transmission uh, temperature and all that stuff. All the information there for the transmission. Your oil temperature for your transmission. It has a flashlight button there. I, I believe that turns on the flashlight from the phone. Your EVAP system. As you can see there. I, I believe mine doesn't support it. Or it says it's not available. So... Let's go back. DTC lookup. This is another nice feature I like about this because if there's a code that comes up and you don't know what it means, you just type the code here in this little library it has, and it'll tell you what's the definition of the code. So let's say you have a, um, let's see here, zero, 
306. Let's go to search. No way, I did it wrong. Let's go to uh, P0 305. There you go. P0305 means cylinder number five misfire detected. So that's what that code means. And this is all the things that it could be wrong. Okay, faulty spark plug number five, clogged or faulty fuel injection number five, faulty ignition coil number five, fuel injector harness is open or shorted, fuel injector five circuit, poor electrical connection, ignition coil five harness is open or shorted, ignition coil five circuit, poor electrical connection, insufficient cylinder number five compression, incorrect fuel pressure, or intake air leak. So those are all the things that it could be, guys. So this that's another cool feature about this. You can search any code right there. So I believe this is pretty much it, guys. So there you have it, guys. You can't go wrong with this OBD2 by Autofix, guys. You can just, like I said, put it anywhere in the car. It'll fit anywhere. You can even carry it in your pocket and you will always have it ready in case you know your check engine light pops up you can just plug it and find out right away what's wrong with the vehicle you don't have to go to no other place and pay for them to diagnose your car you can do it right there one two three and like i said guys as you can see there the light turns green when it's fully connected and you're ready to go and that's it pretty much it very easy convenient and this is a great tool by Autofix, guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can where you can find this tool at. And I recommend this to anyone, guys. All right? Very easy to use, very small, you can fit anywhere. And it's very good to have because you never know when you're gonna be driving and a code comes up and you're like, wow, now I have a check engine light on. I wonder what it could be. There you go, you just plug that bad boy in and that's it, one, two, three. All right, guys, so like, share, subscribe, and God bless. And again, I want to give uh, the guys at Autofix a big shout-out and a big thank you for sending me this tool and letting me review it. Take care, guys. God bless.